Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Spotify has finally done it. They are raising prices. Most of those prices are only going up about a dollar, but this is the first change in many years for Spotify. I want to cover exactly what we know so far and then what to look for in earnings. Those earnings might be out by the time you see this, but I think this is ultimately going to be a positive catalyst both for Spotify's revenue and for margins in the future. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content and for a deep dive on Spotify. We'll link to that in the show notes. I have a newsletter called Asymmetric Investing, and I covered that one, one of my highest conviction stocks. So check that out. And I want to go straight to the release. This is Spotify's announcement saying that with 200 million premium subscribers, they are now starting to increase prices. This individual, this premium individual price is the one that I think has gotten the most attention where most people fall. And that is up a dollar to ten dollars and ninety nine cents. I want to note that this is the same as price increases that have gone to a, into effect for other streaming services like Apple Music, like Amazon Music, even like YouTube Music. So not anything crazy that Spotify is doing here, but they do have to negotiate these deals with record labels. So this premium plan is up a dollar. The duo plan is actually up two dollars. Premium family is up $1 and then the student is up $1 as well. Now there were 210 million premium subscribers in the first quarter of 2023. So if we just average that out for the full year, you're talking about $2.5 billion of incremental revenue growth from Spotify just for this current price increase. There are a couple of advantages there. One, this is a digital service. So there is some operating leverage for Spotify. Now Spotify does have to share its revenue with record labels. So around 70% of that revenue is going to be going to record labels. It's not just going to go straight to the bottom line. There should be about $750 million in gross margin that is going to be going to Spotify. Now there may be some added operating costs that go along with that, but this should be a positive for the most part for Spotify for them there from a financial perspective. There isn't going to be a lot of added costs. And remember that Spotify is also trying to get out from the 30% that it pays Apple, pushing consumers to sign up on Spotify's website so that they don't have to share that money with Apple as well. So these are kind of small moves for Spotify, but at the end of the day, they should result in higher margins and higher profitability for the company. That can then be poured back into building out the ad business and growing revenue and margins on the ad supported side of the business. Now, one of the things I'm listening for in the conference call is, are these price increases going to be something that's going to be happening on a regular basis? Maybe every couple of years, there might be an incremental dollar or so increase in prices. I don't think Spotify has a ton of pricing power in the market, but I would like to see those prices increase a little bit over time. So I think this is generally positive news. Won't be flowing to the bottom line in the second quarter, but we should see this start to impact financials into 2024. But what did you think about Spotify's price increases? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.